This video will cover the topic, Solving a Rational Equation that Simplifies to Linear, Factorable Quadratic Denominator. What would problems of this type even look like, and how would we solve them? Let's take a look at an example and find out. We are asked to solve for v and are informed that it is possible for there to be more than one solution, or even no solution, by the following instructions. If there is more than one solution, separate them with commas, and if there is no solution, click on No Solution. First, we will factor out each denominator, if possible. This results in 1 over v minus 4 plus 2 over v plus 3 equals 10 over v minus 4 times v plus 3. Second, we will exclude all values of v that would give a denominator of 0. Why do we do this? If there is a 0 in the denominator, then the equation is undefined, and we are looking for only values of v where the equation is defined. Therefore, we can set each of the denominators equal to 0 and solve for v for the values which we must exclude from our answer. This results in the values v equals 4 and v equals negative 3 excluded from our answer. Our third step is to multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, found by taking the least common multiple of each denominator of the given fractions in the equation. In this example, the least common denominator is v minus 4 times v plus 3. After multiplying both sides of the equation by the least common denominator, we combine like terms and simplify. This results in v equals 5. Since this number is different than those which we already determined must be excluded from our answer, 4 and negative 3, we know that our final answer is v equals 5. Okay, so to solve rational equations with factorable quadratic denominators, we first factor the denominators. Second, we exclude all values from our answer that would render the equation undefined. Third, we multiply both sides of the equation by the least common denominator and simplify to get our final answer. If the answer we find is different than the integers we excluded, then that is our final answer. If it is not different, then there is no solution. Excellent summary! It sounds like you are definitely getting the hang of this concept. 